Warning! This episode contains lots of spoilers. We warn you, humans. <laughs> What's up, everyone, and welcome to the As Seen on TV podcast brought to you by TVCaptive.com. And I don't think I'm ever not going to be able to laugh during our intros from here on out. Um, this is for Ages of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 1, Episode 18, Providence. Uh, this week... Stuff happens. Like, <laughs> uh, Nick Fury's secret base is discovered by Coulson's team. Ward is actually a Hydra agent and not just a sleeper double agent that we, we believed. Hell and Hedra. and uh, Garrett is confirmed to be the clairvoyant. Uh, I'm your host, Dom, and with me I have, I don't know... What voice that even was? This is, I got nervous, so my Stitch voice gets screwed up, so this is a slightly better interpretation of it. But anyway, hi. <laughs> it just sounds like you huffed a lot of helium. I know, isn't it perfect? See, this is why I would be good in... See, this is one reason why I would be good in doing voice acting, because I get to de- transition from one voice straight to another almost immediately and perfectly, except for Nixon, because Nixon takes a little warm-up, I gotta do like, Haroo! and then I could talk like Messi, I fucked it up already. And that's why I would be bad at voice acting, because unfortunately, I can't remember how to do the voice unless I sit there and think about it for a while. Uh, uh, that means family. This one ruffles my jimmy. See, I could do Nixon when I think about it. And uh, It's not even a good Nixon. Uh, and, uh, it's a... We have we have Cleo holding her shield badge. I I I I couldn't even follow through with it. No, she couldn't. <laughs> Not after that. No. No, I don't. I don't think. <laughs> I don't think there's any following that. Do no. Do we even want to talk about the episode anymore? <laughs> yes. Yes. I, this... I present to you garlic powder. <laughs> this show is. <laughs> this show's gone off the rails. <laughs> <laughs> It's just, it's gone. Choo-choo. It's gone. Choo-choo. This show is so far gone, I don't even know what's happening anymore. Um, I don't know, like, I, I was just talking to Mike in pre-show, and I'm like, everything else that we're watching, like, I'm watching Vampire Diaries, the originals, um, Warehouse 13, like, there's so many shows that I'm watching right now, and I don't think I'm nearly as excited each week as I am for S.H.I.E.L.D., and that was not the case like a month or two ago when just before this break like before captain america this was a show that i enjoyed watching but i wasn't like anticipating on the edge of my seat waiting for the next episode and i don't want to blink when when the the show is on now like there's just so i'm so excited about it every week it's it's ridiculous yeah do you you guys feel the same way kind of yeah yeah definitely Definitely, definitely. Oh, God. <laughs> we got Rain, Rain Man's here now. So, Rain Man? Yeah. Definitely, definitely Wapner. Definitely. Definitely, definitely Kmart. I got that voice from the dog um, oh. from Animaniacs. Oh. you never seen Rain Man? Ah, <laughs> uh, you know what? I watched the first 15 minutes, wanted to punch. Was that, wait, is that the one with um, Rain Man's the one with Tom Cruise and, and what's his name? Yes. Tom Cruise and Raymond. Yeah, yeah, Tom Cruise is in that. I wanted to punch Tom Cruise in the face. I had to stop watching. I couldn't do it. Oh, no. Watch it. It's a really good movie. Um, anyway, so... Sorry. <laughs> I'm, I was the one that went off track on that one, so it's not your fault. Um, so, I, I was really, really hoping going into this episode that Ward was playing a double agent. Uh, I even went as far as thinking that the last episode, um, when he shot... Uh, was it? Hill or Hand? I always confuse the Hand. Two. Hand. Um, I thought, because earlier in that episode, they were talking about the those special bullets that didn't kill people. Yeah. That stunned them and stuff. I was convinced that that's what he did, and he's trying to win Garrett over, and he, he was being a, a double agent for Coulson, because he kind of gave Coulson this little, like, nod, like, this look just before, like, he went in, like, they were in the know on something. Um, mm. And I was really, really hoping that was the case, but it doesn't seem that way anymore. No. Like, unless Coulson approved for him to go in and start killing S.H.I.E.L.D. agents. He wouldn't have. Exactly, so 
It seemed like Ward is actually a bad guy now. He's a bad. That's bad. I don't guy. even think that's his name. It's not. Ward is not his name. Right. So what's this guy's Ward name? Ward is his agent. Is his shield name? His mm-hmm. shield cover. I actually, I thought he jumped ship, um, but I guess he's been a sleeper with the rest of them. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. Unfortunately. So I don't know. This this news kind of uh, saddens me. You know what? Out of every everyone on the bus, I liked him the least. Oh yeah, I agree. So not that sad, but sad that uh, Sky is still falling for his shit. No, it's sad that she started to fall, really fall for his shit the moment he becomes evil. And like I knew that episode, I was like, don't don't kiss him, don't do it. Up. Uh, Gross. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. And then uh, Coulson's uh, assembling the team. He's got everybody back on the, the ship. And he specifically wants to leave Triplet out. Um, mm-hmm. Why do you think... Uh, um, what's your name? Simmons? Yes. Simmons. Yes. Why do you think Simmons... I, I want to call her Fitz for a second. Um, <laughs> the names are just so blended. Fitz Simmons. Uh, why do you think Simmons... Uh, stuck up for him so much she saw him in action she saw him uh stand up when they thought that hand was was hydra and she knew that he's loyal to shield you don't think it was for any other reason oh yeah she likes him Mm. she wants him Mm. that's clear oh yeah oh yeah so many cards against humanity cards going through my head right now yes that's bad oh I'm gonna finish this cookie. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I don't know. Colonel Tab- Talbot um, kind of made a brief role in it. I thought he was gonna have a more prominent role in this episode. Yeah, that was like the smallest bit ever. Yeah, he was mm-hmm. on the screen for what, thirty seconds? Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> maybe not even that long. Twenty, maybe. I don't know. Like, were you guys <laughs> expecting more of, the, more of that? Actually, yes, I was. The pre the synopsis that we did last week for this episode made it seem like that he was going to be, you know, the primary antagonist of this episode, possibly even the following few episodes of the season. Like he's right. going to chase yeah. after them. Right, but, but was, that, that may still be the case. They may have just set it up here, and he may still be after them. Uh, which is very true. But I mean, right now it just seems like a oh, by I, the way, this colonel showing up. Go on. I I just really want to say. I I don't think I heard a single word that Talbot said because I was too busy looking at his really terrible mustache that they glued on yeah. with glue stick. Yeah, that was a pretty. Terrible it looked mustache. awful. I couldn't oh. I couldn't do anything but stare at his mustache. You're right. He kind of looked like um. Awful. He kind of looked like the uh, the dude from the Daily Plan or the Daily Paper. Whatever oh. at uh, on Spider Man. Oh yeah, uh, um, J. Jonah Jameson. Yeah, it kind of looked like that kind of mustache, but worse. But, well, but like completely fake. Yeah. But fake. Yeah, that guy can actually pull that mustache off. Yeah, but it's still like it looks a little awkward on him, and it just looked extremely awkward on uh, Talbot. Yeah. Shit, you want to you want to see a mustache? I will shave off everything except for the stash. Do, do it. it. But I don't want to grow all this back again. It just took you so long to do that. It took me like a month and a half, two months. Yeah. Um, so they Colson orders the team, gets triplet, he finally agrees, gets triplet on board, uh, and they start leaving. They they flee quickly before the, the bus is really at a hundred percent and then they realize that the, the fuel line is is damaged yeah. midair. Um mm-hmm. was was making this trip all the way out to the middle of nowhere where uh the badge uh Nick Fury's personal Coulson badge was uh, yeah. flashing coordinates. Was, was that a smart idea? Maybe not. I mean... Maybe not, but I believed. You oh, know? yeah, I, obviously, as a Marvel fan, I believed. Like, come on, of course, that's, that's going to be no problem. But see, we're, a, we're in the know, though. We know Nick Fury's alive. Even, they they thought he was dead at this point. We know for a fact he's alive. I know. Even if I even if I didn't know for a fact that Fury was alive, I still would have put my faith in Coulson. Like, everyone doubted him. 
And when they were there, they were all like, oh, there's nothing here. And they didn't even give him, like, five like, minutes, you know, at believe, those moments to look. Yeah, believing in it and everything like that from their point of view and everything. I mean, we're stranded in the middle of nowhere. We only have food for a couple of days. We are in mid-winter Canada, north of the friggin' wall here. Winter is coming. Yeah, I mean... Winter is here. So, they're pretty much dead within a week. They're dead so, faster than that. They're dead faster than that. They got so, like a day, too, at most. Well, not even, because they said the, you know, the drones would come, or the satellite oh, would come true. by and yeah. see the, the ship, and once the, they see the ship, they take it out, and it's over. So they're, so they're you know, SOL and JWF right now. Yeah. So, I mean... I don't know. Maybe from their point of view, I would think Coulson's a little nuts. But even in their point, of, the way my mind works, knowing, you know, a secretive organization, the guy's got secret bases in his secret bases. Come on. They didn't know he had secret bases. This is the well, first secret base that they've stumbled on. Yeah, that's true. But I mean, I, I just, I was very disappointed that not even one of them, like every one of the team... Second guess, Coulson. That's that's all I'm. That's all I was getting at with that. Uh, I know. I don't I, know. I, I could say that I think Fitz kind of stuck by him. Uh, but he, Fitz he in did, and he did second guess it a little bit, but he was willing to to follow Coulson regardless of how he felt on it. And yeah. and even if I was in that that situation, just based on everything that was going on with all the Hydra, you can't help but second guess everything. And I yeah. don't think that's necessarily like a. a flaw in the team i think that, no i didn't i didn't say that i just i was disappointed that not one you know fits fits i think backed him up the best that he could have the best that anybody in that situation would have i guess right. so but yeah i mean i don't i don't fault any of them for it i mean they just got re it was just revealed that half plus of their organization was you know te really an evil nazi organization so yeah. well hydra Hydra outgrew the Nazis. True, Hydra outgrew the Nazis. Now they're just a bunch of evil shits. But yeah. um, so you just they they just discovered that, and half of their coworkers, agents, are shown to have been bad guys. Okay. Oh. Yeah. So. And then they're they're on their walk on the way to the the base, and um, there was a little moment between Fitz and Simmons where they had some little banter going on, and it kind of seemed like Fitz is in fact in love with Simmons. Um, I mean, that's that's what my dad said, too. And I'm like, I think it's more like a puppy. And Simmons got a new puppy. And he's worried he's not going to get as much attention. I don't know. I think I think it's just he's he's fallen in love with Simmons. And um, I, think so. I don't want that to be true. And he's upset because <laughs> Simmons is with Triplet. Well, not officially, but no, you know I, what I, mean. I don't think that's what it is. I, I think don't know. it's changed. They've been best friends. They've been the only, you know, they've been each other's everything for a long time. And it's the dynamic duo. And then all of a sudden, here's, you know, Batgirl. <laughs> Batgirl? Wrong, <laughs> the, wrong, I was, wrong comics. I, I'm pretty I was sure. thinking about, you know, like Batman and Robin. That's the dynamic duo. And I'm, then I'm pretty sudden, sure Batgirl is not going to be showing up on Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. No, that's not what I meant. I meant, like, third wheel. Batgirl became, you know, was the third wheel. She ri She rode in the sidecar? <laughs> it's not. <laughs> <laughs> so, what were you guys expecting when they went to the, the, the coordinates? Because I, I, I really wasn't knowing what to expect, but I knew um, Fury was not going to be there because we heard that he's not coming until the, the finale. Yeah. So. I, I don't know. I... I was like, you're there. Do something. Dig. Dig. <laughs> That's what I would have done. I would have started digging. That's what I would have done, too, to be honest. I was expecting them to get there and find, you know, a small clearing with nothing. And, like, some secret door that opened into the ground. But, uh, okay, this one opened into a rock. Sarah says in chat, they've been Harry and Hermione with uh, an encroaching crumb. Oh. And Harry and Hermione weren't a thing. They were best friends. Ron and Hermione. And we're not having the J.K. Rowling discussion. It's not happening. It was, okay, Ron and Hermione with an incoming crumb and, um, 
blah, 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 blah. Yeah, she did, you know. Uh, we shouldn't have this discussion right now because she did say that, you know, she's like, I kind of wish I wrote it so that Hermione ended I up I just Harry. said we're not having this discussion because I, no, she never no. said that. Shut up. I don't know, I read that somewhere. Dumbledore is gay. Yes, that's true. Yeah, but that, that was something that she said afterwards, too, not in, directly yes, in the book, okay, so... Wait. Here's the difference. She said to Dumbledore, she always imagined Dumbledore being gay. There's no evidence to the contrary. She said, I should never have wrote ha Hermione ending up with Ron, which is recanting what she actually wrote. That's the difference. Moving on. Tell me how you really feel. I can't Someone's talk mad. Seriously, move on. <laughs> you notice I just kind of sat back for that one. I just let it go. Yeah, let it go. Um... <laughs> Jeez, now I lost my place. Where were we? Um, so, <laughs> Ward and Garrett invade the fridge. And Mike had some interesting uh, comments on the fridge itself uh, when we were talking in pre-show. Uh, Would yeah. you like to elaborate on that, Mike? Who builds a skyscraper on a beach like that? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even give that a second thought. See, okay, there's a little town in Jamaica. You might be familiar with it if you ever watch Pirates of the Caribbean called Port Royal. Yeah. Um, this was a real place. It was more like Tortuga in history than, you know, Tortuga was. But anyway, they built European style stone buildings on, you know, in this place. And they soon realized why all the locals stuck to small wooden and, you know, shanties and shacks. Because when you build heavy style architecture on a beach and all of a sudden the water rises from let's say a hurricane your city sinks so that building is defying physics <laughs> nerd yeah but we don't know how far down that facility goes still defying physics <laughs> it could be like 300 feet below ground Okay, have you ever tried to dig a hole deeper than five feet deep at the beach without it filling with water? They have crazy technology. Not fast enough to keep the ocean out. They had, they pulled out that, that crazy atomizer uh, thing that was like burning holes through steel. They could just steam up all the water. That was based off they, the Tesseract. That, was, that, but that was put in the fridge after, you know, the fridge was already standing. True, but I'm saying I'm using that as an example. They have other forms of technology there. Mm. Mike, Mike, it's a show. I know. I'm sorry. Just a gigantic skyscraper on a beach just completely killed the emotion immersion for me. So were you were you guys surprised that the uh, the weapons that they have supposedly that they brought out to the desert at the slingshot facility that um they supposedly rocketed out into space um. They didn't actually rocket out into no. space. Now no. that, no, not surprised. Now that we know Hydra was in charge for how long? Yeah, but this this was that Fury's directive. Oh, then never mind. If it was Fury's directive, then still not surprised. That's what that's what Garrett had said that Fury didn't want to uh, give up the technology or whatever. Maybe he was doing that for the World Security Council's, you know, to make keep them happy. Could be, could be. But we already knew that there was um the prisoners below in the fridge. How come Garrett didn't know this? Oh, like, below, below. Well, because it was off record. The only reason that Ward knew is because Coulson told him that he put it, you know, he put the stuff there himself. So, now this this brings us to, um, the that was a Gravitonium that they showed at the very end of the episode. Yes. Gravitonium with stuff in it. With, with someone in it. Mm -hmm. Not stuff. Someone is in it. Uh, I forget his name, but the doctor that ends up being Graviton. Uh -huh. But, um, yeah, he's in there, so now, does that mean we're gonna see Graviton this season? Maybe? Maybe not. Who knows? Maybe they'll be screwing with it, you know, Quinn will start doing some experiments again with the Gravitonium, like, do 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 and all of a sudden... Chaos emerges. Hmm. Like, hey, wait, that dead that guy was dead. He got sucked into it. How? Huh? And then this guy comes out like, I can control gravity, and like make somebody's head explode. Yeah. 
I mean, that's what I would do if I could control gravity. Be like, hey, you, you tortured me in high school. I wouldn't really do that. That's horrible. So now, um, uh, is it safe to assume that Blizzard is not in that facility? Last mm. we saw him, he got into a cop car. Right. Where did Blizzard have one? I assume they locked him up in the fridge. That's what I assumed as well, but then the more I thought about it, Did we I? never heard anything about him going to the fridge. We just saw him in the back of the cop car drawing with frost on the back of the thing, so I don't even think they know for a fact that he has superpowers. Hmm. True. So hmm. they could have just put him in a regular prison or something like that, and he could potentially break out by freezing the iron and whatever the case. I don't know. Doing something at some point to get out, but I don't think he's in the fridge, and that's where I originally thought he was. Okay. So, I don't know. Something um, also kind of interesting that they mentioned um, this episode was um, there was a, a, a little uh, hint, a little nod to um, Griffin. Uh, I don't know if you guys caught that. I, I think Mike did after... Uh, I, I, well, I don't think he caught it at the time, but he, he did after I mentioned it to him. Griffin? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, Garrett was talking about the last time he was at the fridge, um, he had detained a criminal who had lion paws for hands. He like, he, he, Oh yeah, okay. He engineered himself to have lion paws for hands. Yeah, and yeah. this, this was like... a nod to Griffin, who, um, we, we know from the comics has had encounters with Spider-Man, has had encounters with Wonder Woman, um... DC Comics, you're, not, you're, not you're Wonder crossing. Woman, not Wonder Woman, um... Who was who the hell is she? I don't remember. All I remember is Oh, Miss Marvel, Man. sorry. Miss oh, Marvel. Oh, okay, yeah. Really? Um I don't know. Yeah, Miss Marvel. Um uh Iron Man. No, we, we didn't catch that. Yeah, so I didn't catch it until he said and you know, it's kind of a goof. I mean Griffin he like genetically engineered himself to have lion claws and basically be a griffin. But um you know, the good ward just like with a a, a smirk, like, how is that even practical? Yeah, I don't know. So with with tie-ins with Miss Marvel and the assumption that Sky is Miss Marvel, and that just seems like maybe Griffin will show up at some point on the show. Uh, I don't know. I mean, but that's also if Sky is Miss Marvel, and if um, if you know, any powers end up manifesting from. And I know in the comics, after he DNA. escaped the second time he was captured, he was captured by Falcon. So oh, there could oh. even be a tie-in in there somewhere. Yeah. So that's awesome. But, yeah. Um, so Colson and his team, they arrive at uh, the, the secret base, and uh, it's operated by Patton Oswalt. Um, what were you guys thinking was going on in this, this base? Like, something shady's got to go here because uh, Fury's keeping it a secret. Yeah. Mm. Kind of creepy. See. It seems like he's waiting. It doesn't seem like he's doing much anything active. He's just waiting. Yeah. In that base. Playing Call of Duty. Whatever Fury tells him to do. Yeah, he's playing Call of Duty with Coulson. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's playing Call of Duty. Um, I don't know. As he put it, it's like, what's with the windows? It's like, oh, it's, you know, to keep it, you know, to help keep away the isolation. Wednesdays are nice, or, you know better than being on a topless beach and i'm just thinking to myself oh really man you're alone in a secret base in the middle of the wilderness and is you he had to alone let that though? is he the only one there as far as we know yeah i think he even said that right yeah he said that yeah he said he was alone alone okay the windows to help with the isolation mm -hmm. the cat is about to jump onto the shelf and jasper get down Sorry. Um, so, um, he tells Coulson's team that Fury's dead, but then he pulls Coulson aside and tells him that Fury's alive, um, which actually ended up working out because now Garrett and uh, uh, Ward actually believe that Fury is gone. Yes. So it actually served its purpose. It worked out. And do you think Coulson's going to end up keeping this from his team indefinitely, or do you think he's going to... Cause we do I mean, know. He's gotta keep it at least, at least until they find out that Ward's a fucking traitor. Because if he lets that slip and Ward finds out and brings it back to Garrett, it's over. Yeah, we do know Fury will be in the finale 
we do know that, but we don't know in what capacity who he's going to be interacting with. It could just be Coulson and maybe some of the high-ranking S.H.I.E.L.D. members like uh It could be Maria like a Hill. setup for an Avengers or the next movie or something. Right. Uh -huh. Um. So, I don't know. This cat better not jump over here. <laughs> he's trying so hard. He does so much stuff. I he's gonna actually fall. at first thought that um, when he said, yeah, Fury's really dead, I thought he didn't know because he is only level six. Right. And Coulson is, what, eight? Eight. The rest of the team, with the exception of uh, Sky, was seven? Were they that high? I thought they were. Oh, okay. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. Sky's level one. Yeah, Sky's level one. Colson's eight. Uh, I don't know anybody else. Uh, I don't know. I thought they were seven. I thought that was said in, in uh, passing somewhere, but I'll have to go back. I think it was in the hub. It was mentioned what rank they actually were. Um, yeah. So um, then then we see Colson actually. I mean, uh, Ward. We see Ward actually make his way into the secret base at the end. Mm-hmm. So what does that mean for Coulson's team now? Is Ward going to go in there and take them all out? No. I don't know. I, don't I mean, so. you see he's kind of conflicted. He's been he was talking to Garrett like the the whole episode and Garrett's like, "Yeah, she's a nice piece of ass" or however he worded it, but um I was like, I don't know where he was. Ward definitely seems conflicted. Mm -hmm. Like he seemed like he grew part of this team and he doesn't want to give it up so easily. But then we see him go in and do exactly what Garrett wants him to do. So do you think like that's he's gonna take them out, or do you think he's gonna side up with them again and turn against Hydra? I don't think he's gonna side up with them. I hope he doesn't because I don't, I don't, know, I don't like him anymore. He can go to hell. I think by the season finale they're gonna kill him. They're gonna kill him off. Cause yeah, I'm cool with that. So am I. But that's why I suggested it, because I want to see it happen. Oh, look. <laughs> look. Look what I got. What'd you get? Presents? Kitty cat. It's a cattail. Mew, mew, kitty, mew, mew, no, kitty. No, don't have to worry about it jumping kitty, on the mew, shelf. Mew. I threw my cat out, because she probably had been halfway through this, but scratching at the door, like, meow, meow, to get out. Meow. And then I'd open the door, she'd walk out and want back in two minutes later. My cat is actually a Hydra agent. See, cats, when they're in, they want out. And when they're out, they want in. And they usually want both at the exact same time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yep. Um, so... Uh, Mike, see, I don't, I'm, I'm... Did I miss this? Mike has... What? Here, you, we put that at the end of the note. Um, Gary is, in fact, a cyborg. I don't remember this scene. Yep. He was changed. He was putting the shirt on. You saw he had a whole metal plate for a side. Yep. I, I mean, must have, like blinked or looked away or something i think i was eating at the time so i might have like looked down or something i i, I think i missed that so yeah it was quick but it was definitive that he has cyborg parts i mean we discussed this when we um first brought up the character like the week before he was gonna be on like oh bill patson's making a guest appearance is john garrett i looked him up and he was like oh john garrett's a shield agent who is you know cybernetically enhanced yep. I think we we talked about this before when you know one of the first episodes Garrett was in it and mm -hmm. when we were talking about Deathlock we mentioned that he was cybernetic and we were wondering whether <clears throat> he was going to have parts too or whether he was going to get them but since it makes sense that he's making Deathlock he's obviously got the parts on himself and he's just making parts for Deathlock right so that that leads us to where did Deathlock go. Who knows? Where have the clairvoyant told him to go? He doesn't want to be called the clairvoyant anymore. Mm. I don't care. I don't give a shit. Yeah. I ain't Hydra. Um, Eric can suck a fat one. What's your name? Flowers was was pretty upset <laughs> that um. <laughs> I love it. I know. Flowers. Hi, Hi, Flowers. Flowers was very upset that he wasn't a real clairvoyant. Yeah. Uh... And so was what's his face. Quinn well, didn't take it well. Yeah, Quinn didn't take it well either. But as soon as he saw the gravitonium. Thank you. Yeah. I mean, mind. it's about the results. He, you know, he lied to them, but he was getting results. So this is true. This they're is true. they're gonna they're gonna side with him because he's he's producing. Yep. So, all right. How many shield bases do we have? 
there's they what? said no they said total they said there's what mike i thought there was only like five or six but mike said there's upwards of eight no there's yeah. way more than that but there's, you know not counting the secret bases no, yeah no i know because still Colson, way more when colson asked you know what's the preliminary that we have that are still you know uh, uh secure and he's like seven so there's obviously more than seven this because seven was his guess on what was secure Right. Yeah. So, which ones but, we have have we seen so far? We saw the um the, the hub, fridge, the hub, the fridge, Skelly. the slingshot, fridge, the, the Triskelion, um, the, what's guest the house, name of the the one in West Africa, the treehouse, the treehouse. Is that the one in West Africa? Or is there another one? I think I it's another. You know, what? I'm not sure. That's the one that we saw at the end of Captain America. What? The West Africa one. No, no, the Triskelion. That's the one we saw at the end of Captain no, America. No, 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 the one that the, um, the very end, oh, the closing yeah, set. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's, I don't know what that facility is called. I don't know. They just there's said a, the one in West Africa. Yeah. There's a lot. You can assume they're a worldwide spy agency. They have bases everywhere. I was kind of surprised that they had one in Canada. I thought they were limited to, uh... Well, it's a secret base. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it's a secret base. I thought they were limited to, like, the U.S. and, like, a few of the more popular... If countries, but what do you mean? The way if the U.S. is Shield in on was? it, yeah. If the U.S. or in like you know major European powers are in on it, Canada's in on it. Hell, yeah. I mean, we have more treaties with Canada than you'd imagine. Yeah, it's like, yeah. Blame Canada. So, Blame Canada. yeah. So I think there's like four, three or four that are actually uh, under Shield control right now. Uh, and that includes the hub, so. But uh, that's not not a big number. So, yeah. I wonder how long it's gonna take. Uh, we we're, we're gonna get uh, Maria Hill mm -hmm. uh, is yeah. coming in a few episodes. She's gonna side with uh, Coulson, and uh, they're gonna kind of get Shield back together. And mm -hmm. uh, I don't know. I I don't think we've seen the last of Talbot. And we know Fury's going to be in the finale, so we have a lot of actual S.H.I.E.L.D. high-up agents coming in to uh, hopefully piece together these next four episodes. Well, yeah, I'm curious what Maria Hill's doing, because in the end of Captain America, we see her getting a job with Stark mm. Industries. So, I mean, like, what well, is she doing for that? Well, you saw her interviewing for a job at you, Stark. You know, you're right, right, so we don't know how that went. She was interviewing. I'm, fuck, Stark would probably be like, Ugh, Nick Fury, second in command. Right. Like, shoo, 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 shoo. I mean, with, 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 me? Shooing me? No, it's like, the he, that would what Tony Stark would say to Maria Hill being hired. Like, no, shoot, get out. You're Fury's, you know, second in command. I don't want no. you. <laughs> uh, I think, I think, uh, Maria might be trying to get, uh, I don't know, to form some sort of mini shield with Maybe. Stark. Since he's building Avengers Tower and shit like that, maybe they're trying to get a team of something together. Yeah, and one other final comment I want to throw out before we move on to the next episode is when they went, Hail Hydra! And, uh... <laughs> that was my favorite. Put your, put your arms down. You look like some kind of high school cheerleader. There we go. I, that was my favorite. I had to pause the show because I started laughing. I almost choked on my soda. Yeah, And, uh... <laughs> it was funny. It was hysterical. So I'm glad that still during like some of these serious moments that they could still throw in some jokes and stuff like that. That's the show's got everything that you want and more. So next week, uh, episode 19, uh, is called the only light in the darkness. Is that the title? Um, yes. The only light in the darkness. Um, and, uh, with the world turned upside down, Coulson races to save the life of his one true love. As the mystery of the cellist, which began in Marvel's The Avengers, is finally revealed. So, we knew she was coming. I think we knew this like six or seven episodes ago, so it's about time that this episode is finally going to air. And we know who she is, who's, who's playing her. Uh, yes, I don't remember her now. The woman who played, um, Fred in Angel. Oh, okay. Yes, I love Fred. Hoifik. Yes, that's her. Hoifik. Um, she's gonna be, hmm? she's gonna be good. 
She yeah, will be. I, she will I, be. I like her a lot. So, Mike, where can the people find you? Twitter at Philodren, T H I L L A D R E N. Cleo, where can the people find you? Find me on social media at Cleomoto and on Twitch at the Cleomoto. You can find me on Twitter at Phenomenom, P H E N O M E D O M. That. You can find all of us. Where? Leave you captive. Dot com. What? Oh, phenomenon! You can find us all on TVCaptive.com. You notice I, that's like part of the routine now. Like I, I wait forgot. for that. I know. You can you can find all of us on TVCaptive.com and on YouTube, Gmail, Google Plus, Facebook, and something else I'm forgetting. Twitter at ASO TV Podcast, all one word. And that was the most horrible Sean Connery you will hear this year. I never said I was good at doing... I'm good at doing voices, like, you know, changing my voice to other voices. I'm just not good at impersonating actual people. I can make, like, 50 different voices come out of my mouth. None of them will be, you know, perfect. Ah, shut up, Mike.